So, hey guys, Chaozu here. So we got the Frank Captain update today, so I just want to make a quick video on how to best make use of it. We're going to start over, start by doing a pretty good pro tip here. If I go to event and start doing any quest, you're going to see that there's been a big change here. Note that I'm sorting by time. This is the best way to sort if you want all your captains up. Because the change now is that you can have 8 Bandai captains and they are every friend captain you have on a team. So as you see here, I got 8 different friend captains up here. And by time I easily get them uh, sorted at the top of the list if I just want access to my own captains. So that's a pretty good way to make use. Like you can still use the same character and you get just that character and then it's sort of like normal uh, another pro tip it's not related to the update but if you want to look for guest captains you should sort by added that puts the guest at the top can be good if you do like a point event and are looking for the newest legend or something but for this particular update time is the best to sort by you'll get all your captains up at the top so let's go and talk a bit about uses. Let's start from one. And you see here that at one and two, I got captains that are very good to hybrid with. Like you don't really want to use any of these units as the single captain most of the time. So if you have like captain dog, we can have cat on one team, dog on the other, and we can easily uh, get them as well. Like before the way you used to do things like say I want cat to be friend captain i'd sort by same character i'd pick cat and then i'd swipe and i'd have cat and dog but of course as uh, this isn't really needed now if i want cat friend captain i can just use the dog team just sort by time and i will have my cat here close to the top and i can use them together uh, of course, this feature is mainly useful if you actually own the units. If you don't own a unit, it doesn't change anything. But yeah, this is very easy way to hybrid up. And these are just some example of good units to hybrid up for content. And just a lot easier to use now if you own them, since you don't have to beg for friend captain. Because like, like... Cat and dog are pretty common to find, but none of the others I have here will be very common to find long term. So if you own them, that's a big advantage. Like personally speaking, like the value to limit break expanding cat and dog has increased dramatically with this. Since you can consistently run double LB plus cat and dog if you do that. But uh, can't say, like we get too few gold keys to do that, so... If we got a lot more, I've probably done it, but I want to focus on old legends mainly. Another way to use this, of course, is if you want to use like the buffed level, level limit break units you own. Like, for example, I've not been able to find a friend captain Corazon, but now I can just use Corazon as captain. And by running him as captain, I can easily do double Corazon. So I can finally try that, and this will be the case for like any future unit. You don't have to care about what your friends have. As long as you own the unit, you can use them yourselves. So I'll definitely try out double Corazon. Maybe not double Barter, because that's not good. But like the other units here, for sure, hybrid up them as well. Uh, another good use for this is like if you're a newer player and you haven't done certain old arenas and such, like... Every captain here is good for a certain content, like General Frankie for Arena Hawkins, uh, Bonnie for Arena Shinobu, Nami Usopp for Arena Luffy, Big Mom for Arena uh, uh, Kamaso, and Magellan for Raid Marco. Like, these are not easy friend captains to find, but... By doing this, you can get a very good friend captain as long as you own the unit. So that's pretty cool. Another use is just being able to use your whole box properly. Like all of these 10 captains are very much usable, but you will pretty much never find them as friend captains. 
But now, as long as you have them yourself, you can realistically use two of them as captain, which is very cool. Or if you want, just want to use them as friend captain and another captain, you can obviously do that as well with the methods I've gone through already. Like, I'm so excited for this. Like, I'm going to spend today and tomorrow just making new teams for, like... Uh, like Garp Challenge, Stuffy 2, Revel 2, and uh, like uh, the forest, like Hawkins Forest and Kid Forest, stuff like that. Going to make some fun use of Legends. It's usually hard to use as friend captain without having to beg people. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, we also had the duo units, like there are some good duo units to run as captain but it's usually very hard to find duo units at least unless they're the big ones like Roddy Whitebeard and uh, Luffy Crew stuff like that and like all of these are very good like Kinemon and Dan Euro super good it's just that they are pretty slow but they beat like everything but Capone Crew is similar Vivekka very fun to use as captain as well and of course we have the Wee Tree Blackbeard for the real memes I never really used him, but it will be easier to just lab teams with him. He's one of those legends I really need to sit down and try with multiple times. And now I don't have to care about other people resetting him and such. So that's going to be really cool. And finally, we just have the option to using free-to-play units as well. Like, i probably make some team with the new film Red Luffy since he's... Pretty decent, he has super type and everything, tip on 7, 5 times attack. Like, now I can make a team with maybe double Luffy, or Luffy as a friend captain if I want to use another captain, stuff like that. So, it's just very exciting, like I'm so happy for this update. And like, if you have any ideas of stuff for me to try out, feel free to post them. Uh, one thing I talked about before is like, we to Mihawk for example. I'm just super excited about being able to use double Limit Break Expander Mihawk now since you do have the damage reduction, HP boost and everything now on both captains that will help a lot against harder content. But yeah, let me know what if you're excited about this change and if you have any ideas for cool teams for me to do. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.